Yes, sir. Oh, got it. Anybody else? Yes. Yeah, she was saying that, you know, she read that Gruner, Belviner is one of those wines you can pair with anything. And, uh, you know, I, I agree. So far, my experience with it is amazing. You know, it's always slightly different. It has that kind of minerally floral quality to it, lighter body, but good acidity. And again, acid is king. I mean, when you're ever in doubt, default to acid, because that really, to me, is the thing that makes your tongue receive everything well and brings everything into balance. So yeah, I think the Gruner will work with a lot of stuff, as long as it doesn't get too, too heavy, because it... It's too light, I think, to stand up to have your dishes. Anybody else? Yes, sir. I'd love to hear about your trite Thanksgiving pairing. We've all been exposed or asked to do it. What's yours? Thanksgiving pairing? You know, people hate me at Thanksgiving because I'm like, you know, the Grinch of Thanksgiving. It's like, to me, it's about the love at the table and having everyone together, right? But I always want to do something interesting, you know what I mean? And I, I, turkey to me is like painful, you know what I mean? It's like even when you brine it, it's still like, yay, we worked all day long and it's up to okay, you know? So it's like, you know what I mean? It was swaying and it's like, you know, and it's even more of a tease because it comes out all sexy golden, these big breasts and legs and it's, you're thinking, this is going to be amazing. And then it's like, yep, yeah, it's turkey, it's dry, it's mediocre. Okay, great, happy Thanksgiving. You know, so for me, Thanksgiving is always about trying something totally different, you know, so I just do like what I'm in the mood for. Of course, butternut squash has to get in there somewhere, you know what I mean? So I'll do some butternut squash soup with like a five spice cream on top, you know, and try and pair that with kind of a light fruity red wine, you know, get the spice and the richness of the soup and the cream. And so I'm kind of in the background having my own little appetizer fun and that's where I get to play. And then my wife from Iran, which makes sense, right, wants turkey, okay. So for her, she insists on turkey. So I'll do some appetizers and try and mix it up like that, and she'll have her turkey. But yeah, again, I think it's for me, but if you're saying traditionally with turkey, I mean, again, I always think, you know, Beaujolais, you know, in those kinds of wines, Dolcetto, you know, I want lighter tannins, bigger fruit, you know, because it'll stand up to the way too sweet potatoes that somebody always brings, you know, some marshmallows, but, not that, but, but it also goes good with kind of the earthy flavors of the vegetables and the, and the poultry. Do you have any recommendations for pairing red wine with vegetarian food? Red wine with vegetarian food. Well, the first thing I think of instantly, of course, is mushrooms. You know what I mean? Mushrooms have that earthiness, and a mushroom is like a piece of meat. You can salt it and sear it to death until it gets golden brown and rich and it's soft, but it still has a tender center. And that is just like a match made in heaven with, you know, Pinot Noir, the earthiness of that. You know, that's the thing. Once you get the acid and, and sugar and tannin and bitter and spice balances right, then you can start playing with, all right, mushrooms are earthy, so I want an earthy wine. Where am I going to go? You know, am I going to grab that traditional Burgundian Pinot Noir? I think that's a great match. Veg uh, vegetable dishes like artichoke and stuff, I think with the Gruners, are really interesting and really good. And then you can add a touch of, you know, shaved Reggiano or Pecorino or something to kind of bring some salty richness to it. Unless it's like lacto, ovo, vegan. If you do cheese, then yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, so I think that's good. Bell peppers, you know, I love when I blacken bell peppers on the open stove and then peel them so that acidity comes down, the sweetness goes up. You know, and I think the roasted bell peppers, you start playing around with some Cabernets that can have some of that bell pepper quality. I think it can be really interesting. Yeah, but always when in doubt with reds and vegetarian, if you're not a vegan, all you have to do is add a little bit of fat, cheese, animal fat, just little, you know, I like to think of meat as a condiment too, you know, well, for a vegetarian, that's not going to work, but anyway, <laughs> those are my veggie suggestions. Yeah, I get right back to meat. Thank you. Uh, I think that there are a few things on the planet better than a whole roast pig, you know, with that crispy skin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what wine? A whole roast crispy pig pork fat. Well, automatically, you know, you want acidity. You know, when I was down in Mexico cooking with this lady and we made carnitas and it was super rich, the natural balance with that was a tomatillo salsa because of the acidity cuts right through the fat. So again, I'm thinking, you always start by thinking, what do we have going on? We have meat flavor, but not overwhelming. It's not gamey, right? We got fat going on, a lot of it, which we love. So how do we cut the fat? We need something with a little bit of acidity. So I would go with a Sangiovese. I would go with, um, you know, a Tempranillo maybe. Anything to kind of, that has some acidity and that'll cut it out, but then it'll still have a lot of fruit and body to go with it. And of course, the next question always is, what are you gonna serve with the pork? 
because that's a big part of it. You know, first think about the base. All right, we want to cut the, the fat with some acidity. We want some fruit, but now what kind of fruit do we want depends on what's going to go with it, you know. All right, guys, it's time. So you've got an hour to go out there and have some amazing year to grab a glass and a menu, taste all these pairings Chef Bear's done, and then come on back in here. Thank you for your time. I wish you well. Keep vlogging. We appreciate it.